This is Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot. I'm bringing Aquariuses, their monthly love read. This is for February 2023. You guys, I'm sorry. I know it's kind of late in the game to be posting, but I wanted to get the content out. We're going to do you, them, and the connection today. We're going to get the love and romance journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot, the soul reflections, love oracle card, the hermit tarot channeled love messages, love vibes from King of Aloha, and then we're going to finish off the read with now showing movie matinee oracle from divine moon empress so let's get into it we're going to do you them the connection guys um this is a general read so please take what resonates and leave the rest if you feel like this is not your read go ahead and check your moon and your rising signs per usual if you don't know what your moon and your rising signs are i do link a um, website in the description to get you to a web page to get you that information i don't have any affiliations with that website i just just thought it was helpful to, to throw something in there for you. Um, also, on my uh, personal webpage is linked in the description box. You can check out a personal read, all right? If you're interested, if you feel like this is too general. Wow, wow. All right, Aquarius is. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. So I feel like in this dynamic, um, we have the Queen of Swords energy, Page of Swords energy on the bottom of the deck. I feel like there's, um, I feel like you're going to be getting clarity on a situation in terms of a soulmate. Um, I'm not sure who is checking in on who or if it's kind of a, um, a mutual vibe between the two of you, but the Page of Swords energy is like... Um, Oh my gosh. Kind of checking in on social media, kind of stalking people through social media, watching their pages or um, checking things out, asking friends and friends about them, gathering and seeking information, but not getting it directly from the source. So I feel like either you are checking in on them or they are checking in on you. I don't really know who's doing what. Um, gathering information, you guys might, be, might, might both be doing the same thing. Um, also, we have the Queen of Swords here, guys. So I feel like um, this is going to be a situation where clarity is going to get, you're going to get clarity. You're going to have a clear understanding of what you want, what you need, and there'll be communication between the two of you, direct communication where you kind of cut out some nonsense. Um, Aquarius says, I, I do feel like something's coming to an end for you. I, I almost feel like it's the end of being single. Um, or the end of a treacherous situation. So the Ten of Swords being here is like, backstabbing betrayal but ultimately it's an ending but with all tens you know the ending brings a new beginning on so i kind of feel like this is the end of you being single or being stuck in a, a negative kind of thought pattern or um almost like ending that thought of like i'm never going to be with somebody i'm never going to find the love that i'm looking for i'm never going to be happy in love um, I think you are also going through this ascension process with a judgment card here. I feel like you are tapping into your spirituality. You're kind of reevaluating your life. You're getting clarity on what you want, what you need, what you deserve, what you're willing to take, what you're not willing to take. I think um, Aquarius is you, you tend to kind of be like a give, give, giver all the time. And you're kind of used to being used and abused and... Um, the, the chaser, like you're the one that's usually going after the person and them not really reciprocating that as much or as, as intense. So I feel like you're really kind of evaluating your life, evaluating your situation, figuring out what you want, figuring out what you need to do, um, what you're selling for, what you're not selling for. Selling's not the right word, but what you're willing to take, what you don't want to take. And you're going to hold to that. Like you're ascending spiritually. I feel like you've learned a lot of lessons and you're growing from that situation. And I feel like this is going to kind of come to a surprise to you. Because I feel like, like I said, you are always kind of this person that continues to um, show love for someone. Even when they've kind of not been the greatest towards you. Um, and you're going to kind of surprise yourself with how clear you become and what you're wanting and what you're willing to do and, and take and have in terms of a love situation. So I feel like it's going to be very unexpected. Um, you're going to very unexpectedly, you're going to find this like power, this value in yourself. And you're recognizing that you are truly a gift to somebody else. 
So your person, your person, I feel like has recently dealt with some kind of a loss or has a, a, a feeling of kind of apathy or maybe like slightly feeling down. Um, they kind of feel like what they have is just circling the drain and they're not happy, right? I mean, look at this picture. She's not happy. She's just kind of watching this waste away. So I feel like because of that feeling, because of those thoughts, this person has pulled themselves into solitude, into this hermit role. They're, they're pulling themselves away from perhaps like the dating scene um, or just kind of I need some time for myself to kind of get myself right. Similar to your judgment, right? Kind of. Um, I feel like they're healing, they're growing, they're learning, um, but they definitely have kind of closed things down a little bit. This person is showing up as someone who is emotionally stable, who is emotionally fulfilling. Um, I feel like this is the person, this is your wish fulfillment. Your person showing up as your wish fulfillment. And this person is someone who puts in the time and effort that it takes to have a victorious love situation. So this is love, con love conquers all, or victorious in love. And this is a, a wish fulfillment and emotionally stable, emotionally fulfilling. So I feel like this is going to be a really successful situation. I think your person is also recognizing their value. Um, and I feel like with them being this emotionally stable person, um, they're not going to play games with your heart. They're going to be able to communicate what they want and what they need as well and they're not going to screw around with you it's going to be a great fit for you the connection guys i definitely think i definitely think this is a soulmate connection with the uh, magician this is like manifesting your soulmate this is calling in your soulmate i feel like you guys are both on a similar track where you're growing and learning and healing and you're ready to come together with your soulmate. But this is not necessarily going to be the smoothest transition, right? I do feel like with the two of swords being in here, you're both kind of coming from a similar energy, uh, not really sure what to do, kind of feeling blindfolded, wanting to trust the other person, but struggling because of some past issues. But neither one of you are giving up, guys. This is the nine of wands. This is that energy of like, the wounded warrior like yeah I've been beaten down yeah I've been a bit abused but I'm not giving up on love I deserve love I want love I'm gonna give love I'm gonna get love um, but you have to be able to communicate like I said and work through this situation you're both gonna be good communicators just remember to be honest and don't be too harsh but be honest and be clear about what the expectations are that you want your person is gonna be the same way you both will be a little bit defensive or guarded rather um, and a little confused, but this is definitely soulmate energy. So I think this is good news for you, Aquarius. This is very good news. All right, let's get um, the love and romance journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot. For Aquarius. Delicacy. I'm going to show you the picture. Wife. Sacred connection and make the effort. Marriage. Ding dong. Yep. <laughs> um, definitely, definitely, definitely. I do think this is a sacred connection, guys. I do think this is a soulmate connection. Um, we have wife here, so you might be the wife to someone or you might find a wife. Um, make the effort, which I'm telling you, you guys are both going to have to make the effort. I think you both have been through a lot of stuff, but you're going to be able to communicate what you need from each other. And then I'm just going to put this card up. Delicacy. I'm really unclear as to why someone will put their fingers in a rose. <laughs> but I'm just going to leave there, that there for you. All right. We're going to get the Soul Reflections Love Oracle card. For Aquariuses. Yes. Marriage. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, soulmate energy. On a pedestal, does this hurt the relationship? So I feel like this again is Aquarius is you tend to really put the person you love up on a pedestal. Um, you tolerate stuff that's not tolerated, should not be tolerated. You make excuses for this person's behavior because you care about them. Don't put them on a pedestal to the degree that they can crap on you and you just take it, right? Make it more of an even playing field. I was only taking um, 
two of these in the first read, but I think I'm just going to do three. Trust issues. Yes, I'm telling you. You both have some trust issues coming into the situation, but you will be this open and honest, right? So I feel like it's going to be okay. All right, let's get some Hermit Tarot channeled love messages for Aquariuses. <laughs> I am manifesting you, which is what, guys? The frickin' magician manifesting your soulmates. You know, the funny thing is I think you're both manifesting each other. I want to start a family with you, and words do hurt. Mm -hmm. I don't think this words do hurt applies to the situation between the two of you. I think the words do hurt applies to um, your past. And you're going to have to be mindful of that. Um, definitely, the ten, this is like the Ten of Pentacles energy. To me, I want to start a family. Or the Ten of Cups. I don't even know which one. But definitely family, committed, loyal, happily ever after, guys. And I am manifesting you. Alright, let's get some messages from the Love Vibe deck from King of Aloha. For Aquariuses. Between Aquariuses and their person. I'm ready to let you know how I feel. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a lot of clear communication. I'm going to break your heart. <laughs> and I'm married and I can't be with you right now. Um, please hold on for me. I am ending a connection. So if the marriage situation is, in fact, a variable, that's going to be over soon. Um, I'm going to break your heart. I feel like that is just, again, kind of indicative of trust issues and someone not trusting themselves or, or I don't know if this is you saying that or them saying that, but I feel like that's just the trust issues, the insecurities kind of seeping through, but you guys are going to be all right. We got marriage, we got soulmate, we got sacred connection. It's going to be all right. All right. This is now showing movie matinee Oracle deck from Divine Moon Empress. So this is just a quote from a movie. Um, it's going to be your advice. Take it how it resonates. Leave it if it doesn't. Oh, snap. I'm like, do I pick it up? Hold on, guys. Sorry, Aquarius, says I'm back. So your card went flying off the table. And it's from the birdcage. Armand Goldman says, there's only one place in the world I call home, and it's because you're there. So that's your message. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe on this video if you feel inclined to do so. I appreciate your support so much, guys, and until next time, take care.